And we're talking for the show about you know, all the time I was a teacher and the professional development, wanting to genuinely engage, wanting the confidence for me as a Pakia man, wanting to have enough knowledge and the confidence to be able to actually say I know what I'm on about. But it never really happened for me. I never had the professional development. Mm. The, the support network was never really in place that I could stand in so many different contexts, not just while I'm at work for those hours and then go away. It wasn't intrinsic in society. Mm. It wasn't everywhere at the supermarket. It wasn't at every pub. Or if I ever played a gig somewhere, I wasn't welcomed onto the, the gig site in any way. There was no recognition. It was, oh, you set up over there type thing. Although, please continue to provide me with gigs and opportunities. <laughs> um, but I know as a teacher, I just you sort of felt lost because you didn't want to be, and we talked about before, you didn't want to be tokenistic. And we mm. talked about white spaces. Mm. What's a white space? Oh, I'll just add a few koru patterns here. And yeah, kia ora, kia ora, kia ora, kia ora. Yeah, I'm totally nailing it. I never felt I had that confidence or the enough learning over enough time. Mm. And we asked for it as teachers at all three schools I was at um, over my career as a teacher. We asked weekly, monthly, like, can we have more? Can we have more? And we couldn't keep putting it on those one or two people at school that had that knowledge because mm. they have their family, they, they, have, they have their own lives and their roles are not to teach all of the teachers 24-7. So it's, mm. so that idea of how does it work intrinsically from the government, yes, I think it really does have to come through. But maybe, was it too slow, the trip? Possibly. Well, now that it's introduced within mainstream schooling, so the Aotearoa curriculum is now going to put a new light and new lens on those um, education workers. And I do know that at um, Rangiriri there in the Waikato, they're doing a lot of PLD for all our local uh, teachers in those um, spaces within the Waikato uh, and although a lot of PLD has been going through there to educate them about Waikato Te Ao Māori just from one lens um, and then they're able to take it back to their classrooms and then bring the students through um, to educate but yeah PLD is life and I'm hoping that there'll be more of that now that it's in the curriculum. And we'd love to have more of that in the Coromandel so shout yes. out if anyone in the Coromandel has the time, the inclination Ngāti Hay, I'd love to have Ngāti Hay in the classroom yes. when I was a teacher. I'd love it every week at the very least and then every two days in a week and then three days a week and then we can become that as well. We can take on a role of educating others. Mm. I'd love the snowball effect to happen.